Over the years, many myths have evolved around Wentworth Woodhouse. One of those myths is that all of the family papers were destroyed during the 20th century. The truth is that the Wentworth Woodhouse muniments, as the family papers are known, are actually in the Sheffield City Archives. It's the largest single archive collection that they hold. The Archives is a regular haunt for members of the Wentworth Woodhouse Volunteer Research and Archives team. The Muniments collection is largely catalogued, but it's not digitised, so the only way to see the material is to physically visit the Archives. In February 2022, Dr Oliver Cox visited Wentworth Woodhouse to deliver a lecture. Afterwards, he suggested that we consider offering heritage internships to students from the University of Oxford. The university encourages all of its students to undertake internships during the holiday periods, and among the student population is a group known as Crank Start Scholars. This scholarship provides support to academically gifted young people who come from lower income households, and of the five interns that we recruited, three are Crank Start Scholars. We designed the internship around four key areas and ran a series of online meetings throughout the summer to prepare the interns for their work with us. And the programme began in September. So I was looking to get experience in the cultural and heritage sector. Um, I'm quite interested in working in archives and academic research as a future plan. So I thought this would be a good basis um, for getting experience. I think what really attracted me to the internship was the range of things because oftentimes you'll get a heritage internship which is transcription, which is digitising, which is, I don't know, just looking through the archives doing research, but they're often just the one part, whereas with the Wentworth Woodhouse one, it's you do the digitising, then you do the transcription, then you do a bit of research, then you get to be on site, and then, and then, and then you have so many things that are available to you and you don't really get the opportunity to do those at other places. Um, which I mean, it's just, it's just brilliant. It's, it's what everyone who's trying to break into the heritage kind of sector is looking for. One of the first things that Meg did for us was suggest a better way for us to scan and save the archive documents, using the Notes app on our iPad to scan, crop and name the material that we were working with. So while in the archives, um, we were handling documents and copies of letters written to or from the first Marquess of Rockingham. And what we did, we were taking photos and scanning all of these documents so that we can transcribe them and have a nice resource of historical documents for further research. We also scanned some logs of the house um, for receipts. Um, so we're scanning them and then next week we will be transcribing them, uh, recording them in a database so they're all neatly in one place. To give context to the work that the interns were doing, we invited them to Wentworth Hood House to see our own small archive and to take a look around the magnificent house itself. <laughs> battle plans written out, hopefully at least, um, after the fact to send to another general. That, those fascinated me largely because it's a direct connection to the past and also shows a side of the aristocracy which we don't really get to see. We usually think of them as these sort of towering, aloof, rich figures, when in reality they were people at the end of the day, even if they were living in a house as massive as this. So for the next part of the internship, um, I will be remote working, transcribing the documents that we've photographed in the archives. And I'm really looking forward to kind of finding more of the stories and almost perhaps the problem solving aspect of it, working out why people are writing the things they are, even who they are. So many times they address each other as kind of sister or lord or other things and kind of pulling up that family tree and trying to work out who's talking to who and then using that to yeah, tell this narrative, find these stories that will really interest someone trying to discover the history of the house too. And so this second part we get to actually 
dive deep, we get to do the research, we get to do uh, the in-depth looking at what they're actually about. And um, that's kind of double, uh, double-sided double there because so we get to actually find out what they're about, but also the process of finding out what they're about is fascinating in, in of itself in terms of actually trying to decipher the letters. And that's something I'm really interested in and I'm really looking forward to. Getting into the intimacy of these kind of historical figures and seeing them as humans was really interesting. And as they kind of feeds into the tactile nature of actually touching these and working with these rather than just kind of reading it in a book somewhere. That idea of it being a foot in the door is something that's integral to me and also just gives me a bit of more intrinsic experience, which I think I, if I were to be honest, I think I value slightly more than something that could just go on my CV. Wentworth Woodhouse reminded me of just how central the house was to the lives of so many people and how many people contributed to this grandeur and that it's so much more than just an uh, aristocratic family and it's a community of people that makes it so great. The programme has been a huge success and we've made some important discoveries. The interns have also been asked to suggest ways in which these findings might be presented to the public and we'll cover some of these in future videos that we'll release on this channel.